Today on this Day at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make simple black bean and corn salad. This salad is healthy, it's light and bright and super flavorful. To start, you'll want to thaw two cups of frozen corn kernels. You can also use a can of corn, but I find that frozen has a better flavor. Place those into a large mixing bowl along with two 15 ounce cans of rinsed and drained black beans. Then you'll need to dice two to three Roma tomatoes and these are a little bit small so I'm definitely gonna be using three here. So I slice them and then dice them. And we'll get all of those tomatoes in our bowl as well. Next you'll need one red or green bell pepper and you'll want to dice this as well. This will add a little bit of texture and crunch to our little salad that we're making. You'll also want to dice half of a red onion, and if your tummy is sensitive, you can always leave that out. You want that onion to be a small dice or even mince it so that it really mixes in and nobody gets that bite of raw onion. Then you'll add all of that into the bowl with your black beans and corn and everything that you've got going on. Add in half a cup of freshly chopped cilantro. Then we need to dice two avocados, or you can use one. I'm an avocado lover though. So we're gonna slice around and then you'll be able to twist and pull it apart. Then we'll remove the pit. Then you place them all face down. Slice them in half lengthwise again. Then you should be able to grab one and easily peel off the skin. Then you can easily dice them up and add those in with your salad. All that's left to do is make our super simple dressing. We'll need to juice two limes, so about a quarter cup of lime juice. Pour that over the avocado to keep it from turning brown. Then you'll also add in a quarter cup of olive oil and you wanna use the good kind, extra virgin. Two cloves of minced garlic, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. And that's it, all that's left to do is stir this all together. You can always mix your dressing separately, but I wanted to save myself the extra bowl here and just mix it in with the salad. And that's it, you are ready to eat. This is best served within about 24 hours so that that avocado doesn't turn brown and mushy. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.